remain with you as we study and allow the Holy Spirit Father, to do the teaching. Verse 1, for every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Remember, gifts and sacrifices. So if a priest to angels draws in victory that he has packaged for you. This book of Hebrew personally and how it can indeed grow you in your ministry, in your Let spiritual life. Let us rub mind together and allow God to be glorified. Jesus Christ. Good morning, if it is morning time where you are, good afternoon, if it is afternoon time, that planet Earth that the Lord has placed you. Good evening, if it is evening time, or good night, if you are about to go to bed. This is our Bible reading of the book of Hebrews. We have gone far from chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and we want to look at chapter 5 and 6 today. I pray that the Lord God, Holy Spirit, our senior partner, our comforter, our teacher, the word of God says it is expedient that I go. So the Holy Spirit has to do the work that it needs to do in your life daily as you open up to him in the name of Jesus. The other time we looked at the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1 to 16. Today we shall be looking at Hebrews chapter 5 and 6. I hope that you will have the patience as we read this book and discuss it in a bigger context. However, what we do is to read the scripture and allow the Holy Spirit to give you revelation, to incite revelation. We can only contribute or make some comments or some little commentary, but the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, does the teaching. He reveals the truth to your heart, to your soul, to your mind. As we said earlier on, that Jesus Christ is our great high priest. Also, Jesus Christ is the word that is sharper than any two-edged sword. Is sharper, quicker, and powerful. May the Lord allow you to read with us as we read today the book of Hebrews chapter 5 and sees all together. And I hope that it shall be a great delight and joy in your heart in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Can we just pray? Uh, just few prayer. Father, Lord, we thank you as we read the book of Hebrews. Lord, Holy Spirit, open our heart, open our mind, open our understanding. Give us wisdom. Let us learn every mystery that you want us to learn. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of Hebrews chapter 5. And the book of Hebrews chapter 5 is made up of 14 verses. So we will quickly read the book of Hebrews chapter 5, then make a little commentary, and then we'll read the book of Hebrews chapter 6 and make a few commentary. And we'll conclude. And we believe that in your quiet time you have the opportunity and time to consider this book of Hebrew personally and how it can indeed grow you in your ministry, in your spiritual life and physical life in the name of Jesus. The book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse 1, for every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices 
for sins. Remember, gifts and sacrifices. So if a priest that is chosen among men, like the Aaron priesthood was chosen among men, if they fell short of offering gifts, of offering sacrifices, then they are they, they cease to accomplish the place of their priesthood. Because the word of God is saying here in verse 1: for every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men. So you see, the high priest is for men, not men for the high priest. What we see in today which has been turned all around because of the selfishness, because of the hunger, because of the, uh, what will I say, because of the fraud in the gospel. Men are now ordained for the, for the priests. But it's the other way around. However, the question still remains, do you still need the ironic priesthood in this time and season that is left for you to make a study on and for you to allow the Holy Spirit to bless your life with revelation based on the word of God. But as we move on, we will get to realize where the author of the book of Hebrew wants the Hebrew believers to look at the direction of their focus. He reminded them that the high priest is taken from among men because it is ordained. It, they are ordained for men. They are ordained for, meaning that they are to assist. They are to help. Not the old, not the way, other way around. Hallelujah. That the men are helping out the priest. No, it is the priest that helps the men to have a relationship or to reconcile their relationship back to God. That was the template in the whole time. But may the Lord bless you as we read on and allow the Holy Spirit to you know, teach you. So they were meant to bring gift. They were meant to offer gift to God and sacrifices. So not just gift only, but sacrifices sacrifices void of sacrifice do not make the priest priesthood office a priest deserve deserving void of gift and embracing of sacrifices do not make the priesthood office more proficient in the fleshy or earthly priesthood there must be the offering of gifts and sacrifices. Many have thwarted the status of the sacrifices and gifts to suit their ego of now, to suit their doctrine of selfishness of now, to suit their doctrine of self-centeredness of now. Please read the word of God and allow it to make you see, open your heart to see what you have not been able to see before. Verse 2 says, Who can have compassion on the ignorance and on them that are out of the way for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity so that is to show you previously we we, we, we we saw that jesus christ is our great high priest in a, in, a, in other words those earthly high priests are compassed with infirmity they are volatile they are voluble they are gullible let me put it that way or they are not they are not uh they are not perfect So the scripture in verse 2 is saying that their duty is to bring gift and offering 
to for who for those that are that 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 that, that are ignorant they are also meant to have compassion what do you see today somebody cursing cursing his fellow believer a man standing at the altar cursing his fellow believer and he calls himself a priest no 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 that is not what Christ is all about and that is why the Hebrew author wanted the Hebrew believer to know that there is a difference there is a liberty and there is a grace and the uh, uh, a freedom that Christ has introduced, has come to effect. The word of God says that the high priest must have compassion or is he, he ought to have compassion on the ignorance and on them that are out of the way but what do you see? The device is the case. No compassion. Hallelujah. No, no, no love for those that are out of the way. Verse 3 says, And by the reason thereof he hoped as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can see the shortcomings in this structure. That the high priest itself is not just a father. He's even equal to the people that he is having compassion on. The same infirmity, the same sin level, the same sin nature. Hallelujah. So he cannot just come out and say he is void of sin. Is void of infirmity. But thanks be to the Lord. The word of God says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. He says, seeing then that we have such an high priest, we have in Christ Jesus an high priest. Praise the Lord. The word of God says that in verse 4, and no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God as of error. No man. So those those ones that go out like that and say they are I, they are priests in the name of being pastor, or they are priests in the name of being apostles. No one take that honor. The honor is meant to preserve and <laughs> and and reserve for error. So permit me to say that if you are not from Eros lineage, you can't claim it. You cannot. This is the status. This is the status. But thanks God. Thank God. Our high priest nature, our being chosen as an high priest, is not according to the erotic or erotic Aaron high priesthood lineage. We are high priests. We are priests because Christ has begotten us. He that is the high priest has begotten us to become sons and daughters of high priests. He said, Ye are a chosen generation, a royal high, a royal, a royal priesthood. So we are enjoying the priesthood. In Christ, not the priesthood in error. Glory be to God. What a revelation. Let us read on. This is getting interesting. Verse 4 says, And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God as was error. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest. But he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. God gave Aaron the priesthood. The same father also gave Jesus 
the priesthood. Hallelujah. What a mystery. You see, the same one that also, in verse 5, he says, so also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest. It was not Christ that made himself an high priest. It was God that also ordained Herod, that also ordained Jesus Christ. Because if, if from the right of you will see that the Hebrew brethren were in a confused state. Perhaps they, are, they were they were they were doctrines that were flying around on the head, saying, oh, oh no no no, your Jesus was not ordained by God. Our, our, our high priest, our priesthood was ordained by God. So your Jesus doesn't have no basis. But the Hebrew author have to bring this out to show to the brethren so that they can hold first to the confession of their faith that Jesus also was ordained as a priest, as a chief, as a high priest by the same Father. So he that believes in Jesus enjoys the priesthood that lies in Christ Jesus. Not the priesthood that lies in Herod, but the priesthood that lies in Christ Jesus. This would become more meaningful and faith-driven when we look at verse six, uh, chapter 6 and chapter 7. Expanding more about the priesthood office of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Verse Verse 6 says, as he said also in another place, that in the scripture, that is in Psalm 110 verse 4. Maybe you can read that anytime you have a quiet time. Read Psalm 110 verse 4 and Hebrews 7 verse 17 and 21. You come to you come to appreciate and understand better what the scripture is saying in verse six. The Bible says, "As he said on also in another place where we have already quoted, we have already sorry, I've already given you the verse and chapter in Psalm one one zero verse four. The word of God says, "He said also in another place, thou art a priest forever." After the order of Mekisedek. I want you to do a study in your own quiet time. Understand what Mekisedek is all about. Mekisedek was mentioned in Genesis. Also, Mekisedek was mentioned in Psalms. In fact, let me just read the book of Psalm 110, 110, Psalm 110, verse 4, and see what a fulfillment of the scripture, what a fulfillment of the scripture, Psalm 110, verse 4. It says, the Lord has sworn, and with will not repent. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. See, the word of God says, as in verse 6 of Hebrews chapter 5, he, as he said also in another place, and that is where we are reading from, Psalm 110 verse 4, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. This is David testifying. That thou art a priest forever, forever, not, not limited, not shrink down, not, not uh, influenced by flesh, by infirmity, forever, eternal priest, not earthly based, temporarily priest that has no. Oh my God, that has no basis for his own salvation. 
In fact, the earthly priests also long to be to be reconciled back to God, even as they seek after they seek for the reconciliation of their flocks or people that comes to pay or give sacrifices and gift. So just did David bear witness to this fact, thou art an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. In verse 5 of the same psalm, the Lord at thy, he said, the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. Hallelujah. So, scripture bearing witness with scriptures. So, permit me to say that the priesthood, the likely, the likely, the likelihood, the likelihood of Christ's priesthood is not is not like unto error or error. It is not like unto error. It is like unto Mekisabed. And after this chapter, we come to know the comparison and the superiority of Jesus Christ's priesthood to that of Mekisabed. Praise the Lord. So the Hebrew brethren ought to know this, that Jesus Christ's priesthood was not like unto Heron, but unto Mekisedet's like. But that does not subject Jesus Christ to be less to Mekisedek. Praise the Lord. So, he said, Thou art, in verse 6 of Hebrews chapter 5, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Mekisedek. The order of Mekisedek here shows that there is a, a structure, there is a pattern. After the pattern, after the order, after the ordination, after the mirroring, after the image, Hallelujah of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, that's Melchizedek, in the days of the flesh, verse seven, when he had offered all prayers and supplications with strong cry and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, was heard in that he feared. Hallelujah. This was talking about Jesus Christ offering, offering prayers and supplications. You see, offering prayers and supplications, not just gifts and sacrifices, but offering prayers. What you see today in the priesthood that is driven by erod, erotic pattern, in the offer gift and sacrifices but the priesthood driven by our Lord Jesus Christ offers prayers and supplications with loud cry he offered such prayers and supplications in his own days on earth glory hallelujah the Bible say he was hard yes he was hard he was heard glory hallelujah Verse 8 says, Though he was a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Glory. 9. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation. Eternal salvation. Why will you go through the eroding, the erod order? Why you have the Mekisedek, Jesus Christ, a perfect priesthood. The Herod channel or the Herod order will not bring you perfect. It will not make you to, 
it will not, it will not bring you to internal salvation. What you will have is a recurrent guilt, a recurrent guilt, a recurrent guilt. That's why sometimes I told believers, if you have a recurrent guilt in your heart, search your salvation process. Search your belief. Search your being born again. Because even if a man makes you to feel as if you are recurring, carrying over a wrong, a thought that you have forgotten, check that lifestyle. Check the man of God. Whether he be of God or he be of the devil. That will want you to that will want the thought to start being accusing, an accuser in your heart. So the Bible says in verse 9 of Hebrews chapter 5, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Verse 10, called of God a high priest after the order of Melchizedek, called of God. So the one that I've called Jesus Christ to be our great high priest is God the Father, our Abba Father. And the order was for him to be as Melchizedek. The Bible says that Court of God, a high priest, after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say and heard to be altered, seeing ye a door of Yeru. What a situation. They are short and they were, they were, they were, they were, they were ignorant people. They were still limited. They were still babe, babes in the matters of the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And Paul says, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the ordinance, oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong drinks. Glory. What the scripture is saying here is that there is a level of growth that the Lord is expecting. If you don't attain that level of growth, then you cannot be a better teacher. You cannot teach. You cannot, you cannot even advise. Hallelujah. So the Lord expects that wherever we are, we grow. We grow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And the word of God says here that of whom we have many things to order, yes? And uh, yea, ye, ye again, which be the first principles of the oracle of God and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong drink. The, in the day you start eating strong drink, you start treading on waters, you start yearning for revelation, you start looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, that day becomes a liberation moment for you. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says, For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. He is a babe. Hallelujah. Make is likened to youth using the Herodian priesthood. Meek is likened to you basing your fate on the Herodian priesthood. Why you ought to have faith in Christ Jesus. The Herodian priesthood is temporary. They disappoint. Hallelujah. But your own faith should lie in the 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 substance of God's nature embedded in the priesthood of Christ Jesus. 
So when you trade in the part, in the order of Aaron, kind of priesthood, you become unskilled. You become a babe that still need to drink milk, not the strong eater of meat. Glory be to God. But strong meat belonged to them that are of full age, even those who by means who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Hallelujah. Can you see what a great opportunity you have gotten? A great privilege you have gotten. As a child of God, a great involvement in you, Anamaka. Thank you. What a great privilege that we enjoy as believers. As believers, the word of God is encouraging us. The scripture is encouraging us. As the Hebrew author encourages the Hebrew believer that they should yearn to be strong meat eaters. Because based on that, it shows that they are full of age. They are full in age. Their senses can respond and reason can think scriptures, can, dis, can, can be placed under discernment. So brethren, please and please know that Jesus Christ priesthood ministry or office or nature is more than the erod priesthood. The word of God says after the order of Mekisede, I believe that the Lord God will give you an hour those victory that he has packaged for you and for our, for our community, for our country in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and I pray that the Lord God will revive your life for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 See you and may the Lord bless you as we look into chapter 6 in Jesus' name. Amen. Your grace, my, your joy, the fuel of my.